welcome back to the channel here uh, today's project here is going to be polishing the front glass here I've actually already done the driver's side in preparation for a new glass coating and you're probably going to did you just put a glass coating on here not too long ago and I said yeah but um, the reason I'm doing it is because people keep asking me for feedback on the diamond glass coating from diamond pro tech um, and so I can't provide feedback because it's on you know it's on the Camaro because I don't drive that one daily and that one's in the garage most of the time. Most of the time I'm driving the Grand Prix. Um, and so this glass coating on the Grand Prix at the moment is the Art to Shine Graphene Window Coat version two. And I gotta say that version two is, is a, a, a much noticeable upgrade than version one in terms of performance. So I already know that version one was good. Version two is even better. And so I'm, I, I'm going to recommend it for anybody that's looking for a glass coating, get you know the Art to Shine ones uh, is a good coating to to look into. I'll post a link down below and a 10% uh, coupon code where you can uh, order directly from Art to Shine uh, USA. Um, the glass, like I said, the coating is, is looks like day one. You know, it's been on the on the car since like around August of 2022. Now we're in April 2023. Sides and rear look like day one. Uh, even the front looks like day one, you know, the repel repellency is still there. Roughly about 35 miles an hour, 33 to 35 miles an hour is when I start seeing the the water repel off the front glass. And I don't use toppers on this glass coating. I tried on a couple uh, side windows here and it didn't like any toppers on the glass. Uh, I tried Adam CS3, I think uh, I tried Beadmaker. It just didn't like anything on there because it would get really smeary. And I, have to, and I have to come back with glass cleaner to clean that up. So I was just using glass cleaner to maintain the coating. And like I said, it's it, it doing a really good job. The only product that I did like was um, CarPro Echo diluted at 1 to 20. That seemed to play pretty good with it. Um, but for the most part, I didn't use anything on the glass uh, in terms of toppers. So um, definitely recommend that if you're looking for a glass coating. Now, the preparation for the glass here um, I just purchased these uh, clay scrubbers from the rack of not too long ago these are the ultra clay scrubbers so I was trying one I had a little bit of O&R left over from my rinse this wash and so that's what I used to clay the glass I just sprayed the glass with my prep spray came back with one of these blocks and um, cleaned it up with this so this these are pretty nice actually I like the way that this fits your hand better than the clay towel uh, and it gives you a little bit more cushion than the clay towel, so it's actually pretty nice. Um, and then you got this other side here with the uh, was it the bug scrubber? I forget. Is that what this thing's called? Um, uh, well, whatever it is, um, that's what's on the side of it. So I used one of these, worked out just fine. Uh, the first time you use these, you want to break them in on glass anyway because they have like a little layer on this material here. So I said I'd go rinse this out and uh, put that away. Okay. Um, in terms of prep, so that was my prep spray was O&R from my prep spray bottle here. Uh, now when it comes to polishing glass, this is where things get a little tricky here because people are often recommending that you use Sarah glass. Like everybody says, okay, I want to what I need to polish glass, people just say Sarah glass just like that. You don't need Sarah glass. Sarah glass is like a sledgehammer. And Sarah glass um, is only really needed if you're trying to remove wiper scratches from your glass. In most cases, I think people don't really have um, wiper scratches um, on the glass. Like I don't have wiper scratches, so I don't use Sarah glass on this, on this one. I don't use Sarah glass on any of the cars here because I don't have a need for it. Um, but again, if I was trying to remove um, wiper scratches then yeah I'd probably use it and I need a rotary to to really get that work done so um, I don't have a need for that uh, in most cases I'm just using the McKees 37 glass restorer uh, polish here so this is an abrasive polish with um, some citrus cleaners I believe um, or chemical type cleaners and so I mostly most of the time I'm using this to kind of deep clean the glass now the other option is you don't need a dedicated glass polish like this um, you can just use a a polish so for example if i wanted to i could use the diy detail gold standard polish to polish out my glass um, and and use that as well 
Uh, for example, the most, most efficient way to put a glass coating is if you're polishing your paint on your car in preparation for a ceramic coating on your paint or graphene coating or whatever type of coating, uh, you know, you're polishing your, your, your paint. Uh, while you're at it, go ahead and, and get your windows with the same polish you're using on the paint. So if I was polishing my car with th this gold standard polish, I would just use that pad before I recycle it or do something else with that pad, switch out to a new one. Uh, I would just go in and get the glass while I'm at it. So you don't need a dedicated glass polish. You can get by with just a, a polish or even a, a paint compound. So um, now I'm going to be using the McKee's one only because I still have some of this left over and I'm trying to use most of this up so I can buy a new bottle uh, of it. It just goes a long way. So I, most of the time I use this. Um, Invisible Glass has one called Glass Stripper. That one's not that good. It's not as good as this. So you want to shake this. And um, I should clean the top here. I'll probably clean the top after this. So you want to put a pretty good amount of product onto your pad. And you're going to want to um, work small sections. If you want, you can tape off trim. I'm not going to tape off trim. Uh, I'm just going to stop before I even get close to the trim. Uh, so here we go. Uh, do I have enough charge on here? Yep. Okay, so I'm doing five section passes, and once I can start seeing through the polish is when I'm done breaking down the polish. Now this polish tends to kind of cl uh, clump up on your pad, so I just have like a pad brush or um, something to get rid of this excess uh, polish that builds up on there. So again, just add some more product onto your pad, and I'm using the PXE 80, which is a three inch polisher here. Uh, you can use whatever size polisher you want. So once, like I said, once you start seeing that through the polish, you're good to go. So I'm just going to scrape off some of this excess product off this pad. And I'm just using a foam polishing pad. Uh, you know, if you're trying to remove some real caked on um, stuff on there, you're probably gonna have to use a cutting pad. Uh, but I'm gonna be using just, I'm just using a polishing pad because all I'm doing is removing um, an aged coating. So the other parts I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just put this down is for the parts where I can get the machine, I'll just take the pad and I'll just manually go on those parts and work it again. It doesn't take much to remove a coating and even if there was some extra coating in here that I, maybe I didn't get through, it's not a big deal because this is not the part that um, you're, you really care about if you're going to see out of the glass. So. They polish all the, underneath the wiper. Now, if your car has the ability to, you know, raise the put the wipers up, like I can't because I got the hood scoop, uh, then uh, just do what you can in that meantime. Okay, so just kind of work those areas here by hand. 
and um, we're done. So we're, this pad's gonna have to get washed. And let me get this towel. Okay, very simple. This stuff is very easy to wipe off. If for some reason you're having a hard time wiping it off, you can use glass cleaner, you can use water, you can use the panel wipe that you're gonna use for the coating. So again, it just depends on what you're, if you're having a, an issue with it. And I mean, it wipes off pretty darn easy. I'm gonna flip over to this side. And I'm hearing the squeaky sound that you want to hear when you like when you polish out paint. So I'm gonna go over to one more side here and just wipe it off. My, my towel's just grabbing onto the glass. Okay, so we've gone through the coating here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this glass cleaner towel here this is an FTW from the rag company and let me move some of this stuff out of here put this on the cart okay now when it comes to preps for the uh, coating you've got a few things here to consider with the diamond protect coating so the diamond protect coatings I've tested the paint coatings and in certain applications I've used um, Meguiar's M122 uh, and other panel wipes. Uh, M122 seems to play the um, play the best out of all of them with uh, Diamond Protect if you don't want to buy their dedicated uh, panel, panel, prep, panel prep. Um, some of these other ones that when you're using them you can tell that the coating is not didn't bond right to the paint. You can tell by the hydrophobics of, of the product here. So, um, if you're using the Diamond Pro Tech a line of, of coatings, um, you know, like I said, McGuire's M122 works. Uh, I would just do an extra panel wipe with this. Uh, but they also have their dedicated uh, panel prep, so they have their their body prep for their paint coatings. I'm gonna put that over there because we're not going to use that. And then they have their diamond glass prep for glass. Um, so again, you want to use this for glass if you're going to be using uh, any, pretty much any polish here. I'm still waiting for the Dr. Beasley's uh, surface primer glass polish. So there's something in their chemistry that they use for their panel prep that just does something to the surface to prep it for the glass coating or the paint coating. There's something in their chemistry that, that they use. Okay, so now this thing's really, really grabby. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another panel wipe here just to make sure that we've got all that polish residue off from the glass. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over to the dry side. That stuff just flashes off, so you don't really need to come back and wipe anything off. Okay, flip over to this side so I can get two clean sides. I'm going to use this panel wipe and then if you get a little bit of overspray on your other surfaces don't worry about it Okay, so let me flip this over and do one more panel wipe. This is just an insurance wipe, this secondary panel wipe. Just to make sure I've got everything off. 
the surface here. Okay, so let that flash off here. Okay, and then come back on the dry side with this glass is very grabby at the moment. Okay, so that's it for that. Uh, one thing I will mention is I'm not going to do the side glass. I'm only going to do the front glass with a different product. So that's gone. So that's the uh, diamond glass prep. Let me grab some gloves because I'm going to be using the coating here next. So this coating is very user friendly. It takes quite a, uh, a while to set up here. Uh, and they do recommend at least two layers. At least the people at the rag company recommend two layers uh, on the glass. Um, you know, glass is kind of porous, so a second layer makes sense. Okay. And so you want to shake this because you want to get those nano diamonds uh, mixed up here. So about 15 seconds or so. Okay, it's 15 seconds in my head. I'll bring this up here with me so I can have a place to set this bottle. Okay, so I'm going to be using an auto fiber coating saver applicator and I'm going to prime my pad pretty well for the first time. Okay, let me put that in the cap on there. And uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and apply it onto the surface. And when you're applying it, it looks like you're applying uh, water because of the way it looks. But that's normal. That's the way that the product's supposed to behave. And so I'm just going to work it into the glass. So I'll probably just go over this last time here and then let it do its thing. So what it's going to do, it's going to start hazing on there to the point where it almost looks like you have nothing on the surface. So when I come back, I don't need that much product to uh, finish off the glass. Like I said this thing is very user friendly. If you can raise your blades, that's great. If you can't, don't worry about it. Um, nothing's going to happen. A little excess product on the side there. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the other side. Okay, just a few drops. I don't even count how many drops I put in there. I'm just applying the product to the glass. One other thing is don't expect your applicator to harden up with this coating. That's not the characteristic of this glass coating. It stays a bit flexible on there. At least on your applicator. I don't know. It may be like the G-Technic. I know some of the G-Technic stuff doesn't harden up uh, on the applicator, like CSL. And from what their chemists say, it hardens up as soon as it uh, gets applied to the paint. Again, that's that's what they said some time ago. That was a long time ago. Okay. So it almost looks like there's nothing on the glass, but I've applied it. And then I'm going to come back in an hour and put a secondary layer on there. But that's 
primarily it for that. Let me check and see how much time you have to set up. Let's take a look here while we're talking about uh, Diamond Pro Tech here. Diamond Pro Tech. They actually have a new uh, website where you can buy stuff now, which is great. You can sign up and um, buy directly from them. Vehicle body coatings. Let's look at let's look there. Okay, diamond glass. I can't remember how much you have to let it go. Okay, it says you can do three to five windshields in one with one bottle. Okay. Five to ten minutes if it's over. 30 degrees centigrade or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Doesn't really say. So 10 to 15 minutes and polish off excess with a microfiber towel. The car is ready to drive. Recommend yield three to five windshields per bottle. So I'm gonna come back in about, uh, so it's 345, so in about 15 minutes. And then I'll show you the wipe off process to show you how easy it is. Uh, and then I'll wait an hour, come back, apply a secondary layer on the front glass, and then uh, I'll be done. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes. Uh, for you, it's going to be like seconds, but for me, it's going to be 15 minutes. And um, yeah, we'll see how this wipes off. All right, be right back. It's been 15 minutes. Uh, I was able to do a bunch of other stuff, put some stuff away, uh, clean my little uh, clay scrubber. I've had some Blackfire synthetic clay mitt cleaner that they sent me a long time ago. So we use this on on there um that's pretty much it so i put some stuff away and now we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the coating here i'm gonna just use a, a kirkland microfiber towel here and i will tell you this there is nothing on the surface i'm looking my looking at the glass surface i'm looking at myself in the glass and um there is no excess product on there and so that's one of the things that i'm going to mention is when you apply it and you let it sit for the recommended 10 to 15 minutes it's gonna look like you have nothing on the glass so really this towel is just gonna make sure that you have no high spots in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and come back and then just wipe off real lightly to make sure that I have everything off just in case there is some residue on there um, so it's kind of a you have to get used to it when you first see it. You're like, wow, okay, I applied it. Now it's disappearing. Did I do something wrong? Uh, the answer is no, that's just normal. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and just go over the glass, make sure I got no excess product on here. Or I should say, so I don't end up with high spots. And that's it, I mean, it's really that effortless to do it. Uh, does this side have any? Oh, I was looking at the black here and I don't see anything in here. So yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the attributes you're gonna have to get used to is uh, you're not gonna see it on the glass. So you have to trust that the product went on there. Uh, and it's really easy to wipe off. I mean, I'm not struggling or anything. I don't have anything to wipe off, really. This is just an insurance wipe. So one thing I will state, it is not the slickest glass coating uh, and like it feels smooth under the glass it doesn't feel slick unlike the um, art to shine coating which feels pretty slick so um, I'm gonna flip this over but yeah it doesn't it doesn't feel super slick just gonna keep that in mind it just feels more smooth rather than slick and so that's the entire process of applying you know from I, I didn't show the prep because I did that off camera, but uh, you know, again, just use you know if you had if you have a little bit of uh, waterless wash or rinseless wash, clay lubricant, a glass cleaner, grab your clay media and and just use that. I wanted to try these clay scrubbers, which um, I do like those, so I'll post a link to get those. Then I polished out the glass with the McKees 37 Glass Restore Polish. Again, you don't need a dedicated glass polish. 
um, but I have this and I've used it for years and it just does a good job of cleaning up the glass. And then I followed up with an application of Diamond Pro Tech Diamond Glass. You saw how easy it is to work with, how simple it is to apply. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second layer. I only did one layer on the, on the Camaro. Uh, so I'm gonna do two layers on this one and kind of see if that kind of uh, increases the, the durability or the overall performance of the coating. I suspect it won't, but um, you know, we'll take a look. Cause I know some people were saying that this, um, they were probably in feedback that this didn't repel us as good as some other products. And I think rain season's over here for the time being. So I think um, this is pretty much it for the rain season, but at least when I wash it, I'll be able to, you know, see how well it does over time i won't be using the wipers anytime soon if it doesn't rain anymore again we're already in april um mid-april so the rain season's over uh, so i should if i knew it was going to be that we're going to have that much rain i would have applied it to this car sooner but again we don't never know what mother nature is going to do so again real simple application of diamond glass uh, i'll put a second layer in about an hour um, and um, that's pretty much it so uh, again, if you guys are interested in picking up some of these products, I'll post up links to these. Uh, the good thing is that um, detailed image carries the Diamond Pro Tech line. So you can use my discount code or you can just wait till when they have sales. My discount code will save you 10% off. Uh, kicks back like 3% back to me. Um, so again, I appreciate you guys using those links because it does kick back something to the channel. So I can kind of keep investing into the channel, into other products. Um, to grow the channel even more so that's pretty much it if you guys have any comments or questions on this go ahead and post down below i will mention that um, i did have a little bottle of premiere uh, if anybody wants it i will send it to you uh, just reach out to me so if you're in the lower 48 states i will send this out to you for free i'll send you this in the sprayer this was in one of the coatings that i bought i think it was in the kenzo kit and i was cleaning out some um some of that stuff and i found i had a little bottle of premiere so if anybody wants to try it uh, go ahead and hit me up uh, I'll send it out to you for free. This is a, uh, a spray sealant. So, again, thanks for watching. Uh, and I will catch you on the next one. And um, I will see what I have next. I want to do the armor detail supply glass coating next on my dad's car. I'll see if I can get that one. I want to start getting into their actual coatings. I just used the um, armor detail supply ceramic spray sealant on here, which get the thumbs up from me. Um, I will show you the video once I'm done with it. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll check out the water behavior of this but this car looks good right now um, and then I want to I do the glass coating on my dad's wheel coating on his wheels and then I want to do the, the pro level coating on his car as well this car I'm probably going to do the Diamond Pro Tech um, Pro 60 and I ordered a piece of vinyl for the roof because the roof has a clear coat failure and I have Diamond uh, PPF uh, for the roof there so uh, kind of stay tuned for that. We'll see how it does with uh, vinyl on the roof there. I should get a piece of vinyl for the trunk, but I only ordered the, the roof. Um, we'll see what happens there. So again, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Also, stay tuned on the community post. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and post some uh, other products that I don't no longer use, uh, tire products. And so it's you know I'll, I'll send those out to anybody once I um, take them out, take a picture, and then I'll post it up, and you guys can. Uh, can take pick pick any of them or uh, from those that I have. All right. So again, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one.